Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. I want to give a message tonight in these few moments. It talks about a vastly different old and new energy. About how it was not that long ago and how it is today and how it's tough, perhaps, for humans to actually see the difference because of the expectations they have of continuing the old ways. And it has to do with channeling. It has to do with, with those who don't say they channel but they read. For those who would go beyond the veil and pick up information and come back and, and give it to you. In this particular case of channeling what you see is a real time communication from what others have said is from the other side of the veil. Now that whole veil thing you understand is your way of separating God from you. And so you build a wall. And we've talked about this wall before and you somehow come to it and can't go through it. Dear ones, there really is not a wall except in your belief. That's the wall. Crying, are you telling us there is no veil? I am telling you there is a veil and the veil is your belief. And the high consciousness that is coming will start to dissolve a belief that's false. Because the false belief will show itself as false as the new starts to be proven as true. It'll take a while. But I want to go through it with you. And I cannot then go there without also mentioning that which you call the field. Now we've given channels about the field before. But I will tell you the field is a vast soup of untapped potentials that you have, that your society has, that the earth has, that are always there. It's that place where you go to create synchronicity that you don't think you can do because you believe you're in a world of chance. Because you believe that consciousness cannot then change what might be. Because then you would be one that changes the future with your own mind. I'll tell you something. That's a very good idea. Did you know that you can guide your own reality by the height of your consciousness and the belief that you might have? Because you go into the field and start picking up intuitive ideas that might move you around from A to B and be in places where C might meet you. And then you will look at it and you will say, I was very fortunate and lucky to, do, to have done this, not understanding, you planned it. And by the way, so did C. You get into these kinds of discussions that become very intellectual about who's controlling whom and is it appropriate without any idea that what you have done is coherence creation where everyone has the same idea. It just looks like they had different ones that came together. Now that doesn't make sense to many of you. I want to tell you about an old energy where channeling was different. And I want to also tell you this, that channeling, all of it, relates to the field. When I tell you about things in the future, I tell you about the heaviest potentials that are out there if you want to think of what the field is. And we've said it before, if you think about a snowball rolling down the hill, it doesn't take much than to go out and say there's a snowball rolling down the hill. And it's likely to go here or there because it's rolling in a certain direction. Therefore you can then target where the snowball is rolling toward. And in that, are you then giving prophecy or are you simply reporting the snowball? Because there are potentials developed all around you through consciousness of civilization that you are in, which involves all manner of things, including governments and business, finance. There are many, many potentials 
And some of them are very high-minded and some of them are not. And so when you go out into that field, which ones then do you report? Which ones do you see as a seer? Which ones get channeled to you? I'll tell you this, the ones that are the biggest snowballs are the ones I give you. That doesn't mean these are going to happen, dear ones. It's a metaphor that says these are the highest potentials and we've seen them before. That there are other snowballs also rolling that the bigger ones probably will squash. Probably. But that's what's reported. Go back with me. Go back 40 years with me. Go back to the 70s with me. And let's talk about what was reported. Let's talk about some of the channelings and readers and those that you had back then and what they said. Number one, there was no consensus, if you noticed. They all said different things. And yet what they said was doom and gloom. They all had different ideas. Whether it was Scallion or whether it was Gordon Michael. Gordon Michael Scallion. Let's talk about him for a moment. Zachariah, he was also involved, bringing you doom and gloom. Now, were these men wrong? Let's talk about this for a moment. Gordon Michael Scallion went out into that which you would call the ethers, which we now call the field, and he saw what he saw. Snowballs, basically. That's a metaphor. And he reported the ones that seemed to be the most prominent ones to his perception. And they were all doom and gloom. He came back and drew maps for you of what the earth was going to look like. And it showed that a catastrophe of the highest order was coming. The highest order. Where California would be submerged and Io. Iowa would be the coast. And you had this all over the planet. It wasn't just the United States. It was shocking. And many were afraid. And there were those who really trusted Gordon Michael. And they moved. They moved to areas that would be above the fray of all of the earthquakes that were coming and the tectonic plates that would move around and the oceans that would be created where they'd never been before and the millions upon millions who would die. Sitkin gave you other information about a missing planet. Used to be one that was allied with, with the orbits here that somehow had gotten loose. And he was going to come back and hit you. He even gave the year. That was frightening. Until the year came and went. How can this be? How can you have channelers and readers that could go out and sense these kinds of things and bring you such amazing destruction, death, and horror? I'm going to tell you, in an old energy, dear ones, this is what they saw. They saw the snowballs that reflected the human nature. They saw outside of themselves not that which was good, not that which would be a salvation for the planet, because that's, what, that's not the way it was headed at all. In the 70s, that's not where it was headed. You were headed for World War III in the 70s, and we've told you this before. Were they wrong? No. They went out and made an assessment based upon all the perceptions they had in an old energy of what would be commensurate with a planet that would destroy itself anyway, eventually. Are you getting this picture? And you know I'm correct because if you followed their work, that's what they told you. Now back to Gordon. Gordon Michael could never get it right. Because every time he came and went to the other side of the veil, the snowballs changed. And the maps changed. And he'd come back and rewrite the map. And it would be totally different than the last map. But the only thing that was common 
was millions of deaths. It just rearranged what was going to happen. Pretty soon his followers noticed. Will you keep changing the map? Which one is it? Where should we move? He did this more than three times with more than three maps, all published. I would like to give Gordon Michael credit as a gutsy guy because he believed what he saw and published it even though it was different. Each time he went out he published it because that's what he saw. He couldn't help what he saw. But finally he put a disclaimer on his map because he saw something that nobody saw but him. The water on his maps was getting a little different every map. There was a little less of it. There's a little less destruction. And he realized this all might be metaphoric for where the earth was going. And the disclaimer on his map, you can read it even today, he said, consciousness could change all of this. As my maps have changed, it is due to the consciousness of humanity. Early in the 70s, a man who only brought you bad news was starting to see something that no one saw. Consciousness was beginning to change even then. Some of you have correlated the year that I came in, 1989, with the fall of the Berlin Wall, and you'd be right. Because I would not come here, dear ones, to guide you through the shift if the wall had not come down. If the Soviet Union had not then ceased to exist as you knew it. That was the end of the big snowball. Dear ones, you might ask, well, well wait a minute, what happens to the big snowballs that are rolling down the hill? They dissolve. What happened to the Soviet Union? Was that big enough for you? And if somebody had told you that that government, who for 50 years had been the nemesis of America, would dissolve almost overnight without a coup, leaving the, the citizens wondering what happened, and the leaders wondering what happened, would you have believed it? That's a dissolving snowball. That's what happens, dear ones, when the consciousness of humanity starts to create things you didn't expect. I'm giving you connect the dots time where you could take a look at what was and what is and realize that the doom and gloomers are fewer now. Oh, they're still there. They're there because they're convinced that the old energy is still here. And they will tell you, well, it's still going to happen, you know. It's just that the date's changed. And it includes those that expect the rapture and expect that, which is going to be an overturning with, with so many millions of lives lost even today. The Armageddon is still at hand in their world. And they'll tell you that. And as the world starts to clean itself up and you can see it in the news, they will stand there and proclaim it's dirty when it's not. And they'll do that till their death. And dear ones, that's because they're invested in it. There are so many still invested in things getting worse. They'll create it, by the way, in their own life. I want you to notice they will die early. Most of them. Because in their life the old energy is king. And they don't understand that they could extend their lives and heal themselves with the light that is starting to occur on this planet through the shift. My partner has put multiple channels, up to 12, on stage at the same time in America and up to five or six in Europe. Never being afraid that any of them would give information that would be different 
from that which I am giving you today. Because most of the channelers today that are in touch with a pure field and are looking at the snowballs are seeing what I'm telling you. Things are happening that nobody expected. There are wild cards that are not only expected but that are coming or here. Things you didn't expect, perhaps that you don't even like, that are here, that are cleaning up the act of the earth. Some of them are simply sticking a stick in things and stirring them around. And the stick then reveals things that should be fixed later. Do you understand? All of these unexpected things that you are now getting. We told you about the Pope and you got it. We told you the potential of North Korea and it's happening. And there are those who are still saying, no, it isn't. It's a trick. We'll see. Because they won't believe that such a thing ever could happen. Because it's outside of the box of what's happened in the past. Welcome to a future that is not controlled by what happened in the past. But there are still those who will look you in the eye and tell you you're doomed. That everything's going to fall apart. Dear ones, I have told you so many times about the coming cold. It's not doom and gloom. I am telling you about a cycle of the planet that's been around way before you got here. It's a cycle that can be reported and, and given to you in so many different ways, in so many different frightening ways. And they're the ones who say, well, obviously you caused it because humans are awful. They don't deserve to be here. And they're born dirty and they're spoiling the earth completely and totally. Well, you are spoiling parts of it. But I'll tell you this, the earth is a whole lot more resilient than you think. Part of a higher consciousness will be to stop polluting the planet. That's a given, and you will. But I want to tell you that what's happening now, you did not cause. It's on schedule. And I'll also tell you, listen, meteorologist, if you are studying the planet and you disagree, why don't you study the sun for a while? That's going to change your mind, because suddenly you might see a correlation between the sun's activity and the weather activity and the cycles of the planet. But if you don't look beyond the planet, you won't get it. The cosmos is involved in the cycles. The sun is involved in the cycles. And we've told you that where it's cold now, it will be colder. That there'll be places, even in your country, where there'll be snow all year. And if you are ready for it, you're going to be fine. We've given you energy solutions and told you things to watch for. Because it isn't here yet and you've got a decade. But then here came the, the polar vortex. It's coming again, you know. That was not a one-off, dear ones. That's the beginning of what I'm telling you. It's not doom and gloom. That is practical reality because it's in the field. This is what the earth has done before. And it's on schedule and it's here. It's doing it again. You realize, don't you, that the, that the ice of Antarctica has completely and totally melted many times and then reformed many times. And in the process, there have been extinctions many times. This is what the earth does. You're not involved. That's not going to sit well with many listening to this channel. So talk to me in 10 years. And you will see it happening. And then a light will go on. What if this is a cycle? <laughs> well, you can listen to this channel again. I want to tell you there is good news in all of these things. Being aware of the cycle that never happened when humans were here is advanced notice. So you won't be frightened. So you'll know what to do. So you'll survive all of it. All of it. You have the technology. All you have to do is understand it. And that's why I'm here. To help you guide through places you've never been, to see through situations you never expected, to try to identify the things that you might think are negative and understand they are simply the beginning to clean up. 
you got to see the dirt before you can clean it. And you're seeing the dirt. You're going to see more. Light worker, old soul, this is a planet that you were designed to be here at this time. This is a planet where you were designed to be here at this time. To make sense of it. To tell others around you to make sense of it. It's not something that was unexpected. Except the shift. The shift came at the last possible moment. It was only a few years left and you would have had all of the things that the old prophets told you because that snowball was rolling. They weren't wrong, dear ones. They were simply picking up the potentials that were highest at that moment until it all changed. And that's because you changed it. And we have said this before. Collectively, soul-wise, all over the planet, you now are in an age which you didn't expect to be in. An age with no prophecy. Go find it. All of the old prophecies, all of them, have fallen over. And the ones even from the indigenous who predicted the precession of the equinox shift, they only took you to the shift. They never really took you beyond that. Not really. And so there's no prophecy to say what's next for you or where you're going, or how fast it's going to go. And that doesn't sit well for those who want to know. And so therefore there will always be those who will go backwards and map out things to show you the cycles that you had in an old energy to bring you to a place of fear. That's like you having healed yourself from a major disease and there are those sitting here and listening who have who understand how consciousness works and you sit there completely clean of a disease and then you meet somebody who's going to show you charts and graphs of why you're still sick. That's exactly what I'm talking about. The planet may look sick because the dirt is everywhere but dear ones that's so that the cleanup detail can take care of it. And that is the old soul. Those are the ones who are listening and the ones who are here Oh, there'll be more. But I wanted to show you the difference between the old and the new, even in channeling, even in readers. It's changing, dear ones. Planetary, universal. There are now starting to be more and more who are seeing light instead of dark. As they start to see how much those snowballs have changed, where they're going and how big they are. Astonishing it is. Some will go from this meeting changed forever and some will go away wondering what was said. This is simply how humans deal with these kinds of things. If you paid attention this day and felt any energy at all, leave this place changed, enlightened, different. That's the purpose of cryon. And so it is.